What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 169 nice. of the Games and Grass podcast. My name is Sunny G, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello. We made it here, Finn. We had so many technical difficulties oh, before goodness. this even started recording tonight. It, yeah. Um, yeah, Sunny's channel wasn't working. My audio is really quiet. Audacity seems to keep messing up my recording volume. I don't know what's going on, but it seems all right now. Yes, we're, we're, we're here, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, we made it. We both woke up from naps. Yep. <laughs> we're, all, we're all men. We need we need naps during the day now. Yeah, yeah. Keep loop. Ooh, a sound. Yeah, that was me turning on the uh, uh, soundboard. Yeah, soundboard. <laughs> let's have an example of the soundboard. Yeah, example. Um, let's, let's say hi to the goat again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Still the dumbest thing we've ever done. Uh, yeah, quite possibly. Oh, we've got the A-Up guy back. A-Up. Hey, A-Up. Hey, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that dude? Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I woke up like half an hour ago from a, a nap that I just needed because, my God, I have been just the busiest over the last few weeks. I think it's finally catching up to me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I fell asleep randomly during the, like, during the day. Like, I feel perfectly fine. I was going to close my eyes for a minute. And then two hours later, what, uh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, Ooh. seriously. People are going to be like, oh, people are going to listen to this and be like, well, at least you, got, at least you can have naps. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we can have naps. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> we can have naps and it rules. Hell yeah. Hell yeah for naps. Woo. Well, I think we should have a round of applause for naps. Hell yeah, we should. Uh, round of applause. <laughs> yeah, naps. Go for that. You should take naps. It'll make you feel better. I feel so much better for it. I was sitting there in the front room and I was like, God damn it, dude. I am tired. <laughs> so you know what? I turned everything off, rolled over. Because Kaylee's gone out. She's, she's gone to watch Magic Mike or some shit at the cinema. Fair. She's gone to watch men that are far less attractive than myself. Being all sweaty and dancing and shit. Yeah. I, I mean, I've I, I, I watched it too, to be fair. It's pretty good. What, Magic Mike? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> magic Finn. Magic Finn, yeah. <laughs> magic, Magic Finn. That's on my OnlyFans. OnlyFans. OnlyFans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at what that's because it keeps changing the volume. I don't know. It's fine, I'm sure. You always sound good when we put the podcast out, though. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I adjust it in like post, and it seems to be all right. So, yeah, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, that's what this podcast is all about. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Woo! And Magic Mike. Oh man, and Magic Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I've never watched one. To be fair, I mean, there must be more to it than just stripper dancing. I don't know. You'd think so, but I don't know. Like they say words. I guess, I guess as well. I guess. A bit of dancing. I put some sort of soy in there. It's basically just just porn for for ladies, I suppose. Yeah, but yeah. you know, what? I, I mean, I know they're not going to show dicks in there, but you know, I, I the male form just isn't as attractive as the female form. Oh uh, yeah, I agree. Got, got, got you, know, all, you know, yeah, it's like I don't know, too too, I don't know, bulgy. <laughs> 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 I don't, think, I don't think we're better words. Bulgy. Like, it's like, Too bulgy. It's like a better word for this, but I can't think of one. Let's go with bulgy. Okay. <laughs> they went for bulgy. Yeah. There's it's bul- it's, it's bulges where women don't have bulges. And it's just bulgy. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This podcast has started in such a weird way this week. Bulges. That's a title this week. This is what, this, this is what naps do to you. Yeah, pretty much. It, it makes you delirious. Yeah. It makes you think of bulges. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Doesn't mean anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Had the driest sausage roll last night. Oh, yeah? Gross. Yeah. Fucking awful. All right, so we're, um, we're in Tipton for Black Country Championship Wrestling. Nice. And like, we were like, we needed food. And this place is like, it's just a, a social club in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's in Tipton. It's not nowhere. but <laughs> Same thing. So we took a walk out and we found a farm foods. Yep, they still exist, yeah, apparently. I was going to say, yeah, farm still a thing. Wow. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> uh, we found a farm foods, and I was like, you know what? 
you know, you can't, you can barely eat healthy when you're out and about. True. So it's like, look, I'm going to get, I got, I got one of them, but you know, what the hell are they called? You know, like where you get like a little wrap and some pepperoni or ham and cheese or whatever. It's like a kid's thing, but it's like a snack to go. It could even be called that. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so I bought one of them. I bought some Pringles and I was like, you know what? I could really eat a sausage roll. So I bought a sausage, I bought a pack of sausage rolls. And I ate one. It was like eating sand. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. That'll teach me from buying sausage rolls from farm foods. Never again. Also, farm foods do better with your sausage rolls. You know, make them a bit more moist. <laughs> yeah. How how hard can it be? Make it make it. We like a good moist sausage here on Gainy Crabs. Yeah, we do. Moist sausage rolls and bulges. Yes. <laughs> That's what we like here. <laughs> me too. So this podcast isn't going to be sponsored by. Dry ass sausage rolls from farm foods. Moist, 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 moist meaty bulges. That's what we like. Yes, moist or nothing. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Remember um, we used to talk about video games. Well, you know what? I did a podcast <laughs> the other day. Uh, I was interviewed by my Brit Rest Journey. Which I saw it. Is... I heard it. It was good. You listened to it? Yeah, really good. And I describe this podcast as if you come here for for news and actual information, this is not the place for you. Yeah, you get out. <laughs> it, I mean, it might have been one day, once upon a time, Back but in it the day. definitely isn't now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We, we, we just have fun. That's what it's all about. Exactly. And that's what it is all about. And that's what I said on um, on the on the show that I did that it's all about having fun. And we still we probably have more fun with it now than we ever have done. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, we haven't done. Oh, this is I used to, the yeah. best fucking podcast of all time. Agreed. Like I used to before, I used to have notes. I used to like look up stuff beforehand. Now I just like bring up like what's the latest gaming news we can talk about. Oh yeah, okay, that'll do. And we then we just fill the blanks in. Pretty much. <laughs> and, but, <laughs> but now it's just whatever. And, and people still come back. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. So it just goes to show. That you don't need informative. You're not going to get information from idiots like us anyway. Yeah, it's all... the internet exists. You know. Yeah, like you, you won't hear anything on here, but you haven't already heard from somewhere else. Yeah, you'll just hear our shit opinion on it. Pretty much. Yeah. That... <laughs> <laughs> but we come back weekly to give you our shit opinion, and we have fun at doing it. So. Yeah. I guess we we're winning. Oh yeah, we yeah, are. Internet, suck it, internet. Yeah, fuck your information, internet. We <laughs> you, we don't need your information. Yeah, we, we make our own information here. We are the information. <laughs> yeah, you search stuff, anything on the internet, it just comes up with games and grabs. Yeah, it's your information you. will be there. Exactly. It it will be wrong, but it's there. Yeah, yeah, it will one hundred percent be wrong. Yeah, don't ever bank on anything that you hear here um but just know you'll have more fun here than anywhere else absolutely yeah we are not trying to be ign or wherever the fucking else gives gaming news <laughs> we're just us exactly I- ign already exists if you want ign go to ign yeah know what i mean no nobody new is going to give you any gaming news yeah they don't don't really know exactly yeah Anyway, <laughs> God Almighty, um, <laughs> Finn. Hello. What have you been playing since we last spoke? Uh, what indeed? Uh, well, I finished off the Mega Man uh, collection, which is very nice. good. Nice. Got all the trophies. It's no platinum trophy, sadly. And oh, we'll just, like, oh, for Christ's sake! You know, know. It'd be better. I know, right? It did come out a while ago, um, but our twenty-two bronze trophies. But that's it. All bronze. All bronze. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, I mostly did it because I wanted a hundred percent. Anyway, yeah, it was a fun collection. The challenge is really fun uh, and not too difficult, which I like. It's not like Crash Bandicoot, which everything's impossible. Mm. It's like they're, yeah, they're hard, but they're, they're doable, which is fun. Which is a good way to be. Twenty-two bronze trophies. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, I'm assuming this same collection is available on Xbox, right? Uh, I think so. A lot so. so you'd get a thousand gamer score. Probably. Wow. Yeah. Be I better. I should have bought an Xbox, be shouldn't I? 
I think the Lazy Collections do. I think the Mega Man X Collections have Platinums. I think they did, did learn eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine thinking that 22 Bronze Trophy was a suitable reward. Yeah, I know, right? If he's given us at least one gold, that'd have been like, okay, this is fine. But no. Yeah. Got, like, Castle Mania Collection gave you golds. And gave you two, I think. No Platinums for that either? No. Wow. Yeah. It seems to be with the older collection. I think it came out like 2017 or something like that. It's just been a while. When did trophies first come in for PlayStation? Because I know, obviously, when PS3 first launched, mm. there wasn't trophies. It's like... And I remember that they patched trophies in to some of the games that were already out. Yeah, like Uncharted. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah. I think it was probably like mid, just first half of the PS3's lifetime. Yeah. Because achievements, obviously, have been going strong for ages. I remember the first achievement I unlocked, and it just came up two for... 50 Gs. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> nice. I think my first achievement, thinking back, I think it's like Test Drive Unlimited or something random like that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a random game. It really is. <laughs> I think it probably came with the Xbox or something. So I'll try, I'll try this game. Bleep, bleep, I, think, I think mine was either Project Gotham Racing 3, which I think launched with the 360, or nice. FIFA Road to the World Cup 2006. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> Which, holy shit, wow, is so long ago now. Yeah, it's insane. Um, what else? Like, was early on, like Gears of War. Um, that's near the start. I can't remember now. Halo 3. I can't, I, I can't remember what launched with the Xbox now. No, I can't. Halo 3 was a, a bit deeper in, I think. I think you're right, actually, yeah. You know what? I'm going to look it up. I have a massive computer hmm. in front of me. Uh, yeah, Xbox 360 launch titles. Let's go. Let's, yeah. We're just diverting here. This is, this is classic good. Uh, Alt games. So I'm leaning over my microphone to do it. Um, 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 here we go. Alt styles. Um, so you had Amps 3, Call of Duty Good. 2. Wow. Uh, Condemned the Criminal Origins, which is excellent. Oh, that is excellent. That's so, a great game. I never played the sequel, actually. Um, yeah, they're both pretty good. Highly recommended. Great game. We asked to remaster that, someone. Do it. Someone. The Sega. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Sega. Was it a uh, Sega game, was it? I think so. Uh, we've got FIFA, yeah, FIFA 06, Road to FIFA World Cup. Uh, yeah. Gun by Activision. Gun? Uh, is that the one with the... It's not the one with the yellow cover with the skull, is it? Yeah, that's the oh, one. Oh, it is that? Yeah. Okay. That was a launch game. Apparently so, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got Cameo, Elements of Power. Okay. Uh, Perfect Dark Zero. Good game. Yeah, good game. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Wow, did you play that? Um, I think I did for the, for the achievements. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was an easy thousand game score, wasn't it? It was indeed. Yeah. Um, Madden NFL 06. Of course. NBA Live 06. Of course. Uh, Need for Speed, where it's wanted. Great game. Yeah, that was a launch title. Apparently so, yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 3. Yeah, the best. Where the hell has oh, yeah. Project Gotham Racing gone? I know, right? So good. So good. I miss it. Uh, Quake 4. Okay. Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 06. Wow, EA Sports really sort of getting their <laughs> games out there. <laughs> yeah, so many EA games. And uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Very cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I, I When I bought my 360, I bought FIFA, obviously. Project Gotham Racing 3, and at that point when I got mine, Dead or Alive 4 was out. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, so I bought that, which, by the way, Dead or Alive, great games. I don't know what's happened. They've gone to shit now. Yeah. But back then, great games. I love a game. I played, I think, Dead or Alive last round or something like that. Which one was that? I think it was on was that P the latest one? or I can't remember. I think it's on PS4. <laughs> I, don't, I remember nothing about it. I just saw it on my trophy list. I was like, yeah, I played that, apparently. <laughs> cool. Yeah. God, Dead or Alive. I remember the first one on the PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Good game. They yeah, were good they games, were. man. They were really good. Yeah, I don't think I played the, like, the early, early ones. But yeah, for me, it was like Tech and the Street Fighter. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We had a good conversation about uh, fighting games and stuff. We had just games in general, actually, on the way to and from Telford last weekend when we went yeah. to APW. Yeah, yeah. About like old school P 
PS1 games so like and how good they are mm-hmm. compared to now. Um is that how different they feel as well compared to games these days? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was something because it, you know when a game came out then that was your game because there was yeah. no patches, no saving it. If it sucked, it sucked. But if it was great, it was great and there was you know so many great games. Yeah, so many. Tons of filler also on the PlayStation when you look at it. So, to be fair, there's tons of filler on all consoles. The Switch is <laughs> yeah. the worst for it. But Absolutely. there's tons of filler. Um, there's a lot of games like You yeah. Want to Be a Millionaire um, and stuff like that, quiz games and <laughs> things like that back in the day. Well, I was thinking more like Mary Kate and Ashley oh, God, yeah. games. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, my favorite game, Mary Kate and Ashley do stuff. Oh. Spice World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the glory we're sitting here like oh, it's the glory days of gaming games were so good that we've just reeled off two of the shittiest games of all time <laughs> yeah there's usually easy to spot to spot like the cheaty ones like you're not gonna no one's gonna go to make it actually i think oh yeah it's gonna be at last he's gonna be right up there with metal gear solid it's like mm. it was clear that it's gonna be shite that's true but kaylee actually liked the mary kate and ashley game i've just shamed her on this podcast <laughs> <here>. <laughs> that's, i mean it's fair it's just you know it's it's got his audience if you know if you're you're a fan of Mary Kate and Ashley, then yeah, you're probably gonna enjoy it regardless. Um, but yeah, don't defend that. <laughs> this is indefensible. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's what it is. Yeah, I suppose. I'm trying to think of crappy games I liked back in the day. Um, I can't think of any. WCW Thunder. What a oh, yeah. fucking awful game. <laughs> Great stuff. No. <laughs> not stuff. great stuff bad stuff bad bad stuff bad 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 stuff <laughs> I remember there was a remember pepperoni pepperoni animal the like mascot no that was uh, a game yeah it was a game but a PC game it was like a point, oh, okay. point, point and leg adventure game no one's ever heard of it or played it apart from me apparently <laughs> <laughs> I looked it online it's like barely anything about it um, it was bad but I played a lot of it because it was voiced by um uh, Shoot, the guy, the guy from Bossom, not Agent. The guy from where? Bossom, the comedy. Oh, Rick Mail. Yeah, that's the one. Rick Mail. He. I think his name. All oh, right. Well, he did the game as well because I know he did the adverts and stuff. Yeah, he was on the game as well. Um, it's very funny. The voice wow. lifts go through my head like when he clicks on the door, like the narrative would be like the door is locked, and that still goes through my head now. Every time I find locked door in the video game, I'm like the door is locked. I need to find that we game. Need get, find that voice clip Yeah. for next time we do this. I need to find that game from somewhere and play it and stream it or something. Stream it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it even works on any computer these days. It's like an MS-DOS game. <laughs> something will run it. Yeah, something will. Something will absolutely run it, but oh my God. <laughs> Some of these games based on licenses. Remember, um, in fact, I've still got it now because it, plays on series x but do you remember the doritos game on xbox 360 oh yeah it was sort of like what's it called doritos crash course that's the one and you used like your xbox 360 avatars to um sort of run through like a a american ninja warrior style obstacle course (laughs) why have they bothered porting that to or at least allowing you to play the series x or the 360 version on Series X. It's very strange. It's very strange the choices they make when it comes to those games. It's like I'll stream it next week. I have it. I'll stream Doritos Crash Course next week on, <laughs> awesome. on the Games and Grabs Twitch channel. Nice. That'll be awesome. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be something. It'll be entertaining. It'll, it'll, it'll be, be there, nice. at least. It'll be there for no one to watch, but yeah. it'll be there. <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll be there. Yeah. Doritos Crash Course. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> Uh, so what were we talking about? Um, <laughs> uh, I think we were talking about the games that you, you're playing. Oh, yeah. So I downloaded the demo for uh, Theatre Rhythm, uh, the Final Fantasy Rhythm game that's coming out oh, later yeah. this month. Uh, it's really good. The demo is huge as well. It's like 30 songs on there. And your progress carries over to the main game, which is pretty cool. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Which is very cool. Uh, so playing that, playing the songs. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Pretty basic rhythm game. Just push the buttons in time for the music, obviously. Uh, hmm. Maybe you can like level up oh, like like very light RPG elements to it. Good job. Essentially you're like battling monsters in the background as the music plays. Okay. And like how well you do in the song uh goes like how well do you defeat the enemies and things like that and how much damage you take. 
Okay. I, yeah. I love a rhythm game. Yeah, uh, me too. The music in Final Fantasy is fantastic. But I think in the full game, it's like 400 plus songs, which is pretty insane. It's just every song from every Final Fantasy ever. Pretty much, yeah. It seems that way. Like, even like, little spin-offs, it's you never heard of there and there. It's like, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Japan. Japan. Yeah. So Japanese. The most <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome, though. I'm really enjoying it. Um, what else? I haven't really been playing a whole lot else. Just, just yeah, just Mega Man, Theatre Rhythm. I'm kind of like in, in that stage, like I'm between games. Like, I want to stuff I want to start. I want to jump back into Bay- Bayonetta 3. I want to start Plague Tale. Right now, I'm just like, I'm in between doing jumping in and out, different mm. things. Fair enough. Yeah, that's about it. How about yourself? Uh, so, I finished God of War Ragnarok. Nice. Congrats. Uh, and I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought the. Um, the sequence leading towards the end of the game was phenomenal and like nothing else I've ever seen. I mean, that yep. this is why PlayStation exclusives are held in such high regard for, for stuff like that. Um, yep. It's the sort of the, the, what would be considered, I guess, the final battle scene. Mm. Uh, but it was superb, absolutely stunning. And it rounded the story off really well. There was a, you know, a great twist in there that I'm not going to spoil for people um but it, it was just it was great and i thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, like i said to you last week i think you'd have enjoyed it if you'd have just sort of mainlined the story instead of doing it like in the first instance yeah and then gone back to do the side stuff uh because i think you would have enjoyed it a lot more because it was it just made the story a lot more sort of coherent and less side tracky yeah i think you're right yeah it just would have it did feel because i was doing everything as it came it did feel a little bit bloated yeah um uh, but yeah, i think you're right if i just focused on the story and then about that stuff later it would have been a lot more uh enjoyable yeah, yeah for yeah, sure but as it, you say, the, the i loved final, it yeah the final sequence is incredible for sure it's absolutely unbelievable it really really is i mean if you don't have a playstation you are missing out on some seriously incredible stuff yeah big time and a ps5 specifically don't buy a PS4 now. You're just helping them continue to make PS4 games. <laughs> Don't do that. You should be able to get a PS5 out in the wild pretty easily now, though. Yeah, they finally finally managed to get them out uh, out there in the open. They stopped the uh... only two and a bit years later. Yeah, yeah, it took them long enough, but yeah. Isn't it crazy that it's been out that long? And I still don't. I feel like this generation hasn't even started yet. I know, right? It's come out of nowhere. And I see things on on Twitter like the PlayStation Five Pro is could be in development. But no, we've only just started. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. We're finally phasing out PS4 games. Yeah. Let's, let's you know, let's continue with that, please, and just make PlayStation 5 games. And then yeah. we'll, all, we'll, we'll all be very happy. Exactly. Another, I mean, another generation is just fucking years off. I hope so. I Good. Hope so. <laughs> Money, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. I can't afford it anymore. We've got PSVR 2 coming out in a couple of weeks. I can't wait for. Yeah. Could be in my kayak. Better than life. I can't believe he changed the name. <laughs> so angry. I oh, know. What's it called now? I sent you a picture, didn't I? Mirage, I think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, kayak mirage, which is nowhere near as good of a name as better than real life or whatever it was called. Yeah, better than life. <laughs> I kind of want to play it. It's just kind of like calming and and stuff. Like you can and you can think you can race and stuff, but like the main game is just kind of swimming around in a, in a mm. kayak. It's, it's only cheap as well, isn't it? Like I, I know VR games aren't expensive anyway, really, but yeah, I think it's more of a cheaper one. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I want to try and make some videos of VR stuff. I think it'd be fun. I hope the camera on the PSVR two is as good as the camera on the. Oh, sorry, the microphone on the PSVR two is as good as the microphone on the Quest. Yeah, that's insanely good. The Quest, like when you're doing yeah. videos on YouTube, it's like. How is it so good? It sounds like as good as a proper like this mic, properly low. Yeah, proper and that mic. that's wearing no headphones either. So that's literally that sound is just out in the wild, and the sound from the VR headset doesn't in- interrupt the sound from the microphone. The way that they've made it is insane. Yeah, amazing. That's why you pay the big bucks for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Ching ching. Yep. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> Here comes the money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Money talks. <laughs> Counts the money. Money, money, money. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good old um, so yeah, I, I, so I finished God of War Ragnarok. Absolutely superb. 10 out of 10. 100%. Nice. Uh, just a great game. 
Uh, I've started Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. And I love it. It's cool. everything that I thought it was going to be. And I haven't even got a broom yet, and I'm seven hours in. Nice. Uh, yeah, seems, everyone seems to be enjoying it. The people who aren't like, trying to boycott it for some reason. For um, fuck's sake. Let me, let, you know what? Let's talk about that for a minute. I understand um, why people are angry at J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Because she's a dickhead. Okay? Exactly. Yeah, take the words out of my mouth. She's a, she's a big-time dickhead. Yeah, big-time. But... You know, there's times when you have to separate the art from the artist and just enjoy it. Absolutely. This is one of those times. What people need to remember here is that J.K. Rowling has not spent time making this game. Yeah, she didn't develop the game. She didn't develop the game. She didn't contribute any voice acting to it. I don't think she even contributed anything towards the story for yeah. the game. It's just inspired by the world that she created. People have spent timeless, you know, so many hours putting this game together, and you can tell that it's a big time labor of love by the by the level of detail, astonishing detail in the game. Yeah, looking now be be mad at J.K. Rowling and hate her and say whatever you want to her, (laughs) but don't ruin the game for people who have bought the bought the game, paid their hard earned money to to play the game. And enjoy that world. People, Harry Potter is one of the most popular IPs in the entire world. There's an entire tourist attraction in this country dedicated to Harry Potter yeah. and that world. You don't see people fucking picketing outside the Warner Brothers studios. <laughs> True. So don't go to Twitch or Facebook comments or wherever and post spoilers in people's comments like a fucking dickhead. Yeah. Because you're mad at the person that... that created the original world yeah it's like if you, if you want to boycott the game fine cool go for it don't buy it uh, but don't harass other people you mm-hmm. know there's no need no need for it it's like oh you support transphobia or whatever no we don't we just like no, harry potter we don't. <laughs> just want to play the video game let me play yeah we, we want to play what is a good video game yeah. hey i support trans people go and you know be as free and do whatever you want to do Exactly. That's, that's great. Express all of everything. Do whatever you want to do. That's that's great. Yeah. And we stand by you no matter what. That we'll accept no hate of any kind. Of course. On the on this podcast. But if one of us, for example, was streaming Hogwarts Legacy and you came in and spoiled the ending or tried to accuse us of being transphobic or whatever, you're a fucking dickhead. Yeah. It's, I just don't get it. Like. I've seen, the funny thing is, most of the people complaining aren't trans people. I think they're just getting getting in to like look popular, like they, you know, like oh look, I'm yeah. I'm cool, I'm with the crowd, boo, trans, boo, J.K. Rowling, whatever. It's like okay, if you want to, you know, that's fine. Again, fine if you don't want to buy the game, if you want to boycott the game, cool, go for it. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, don't do whatever them. you need to do. Yeah, just don't trust. But don't bully other people for it. Yeah, you, you, it's like because that's what it's turned into. Yeah, because like. It's basically like a. Oh, I can't think of my words now, because um, they're complaining about J.K. Rowling is like essentially bullying, you know, trans people. And so their yeah, their solution to that is to bully people playing the game. It's like, what kind of message are you sending? So like, is it okay to bully some people but not other people? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's strange. That's it. Don't be to, bullying. To... You can't be bullying by <laughs> bullying other people. No, to throw that word around and accuse people of being that just for playing a video game is absolutely insane to me. Yeah, mental. Absolutely insane. Um, because people who play that game aren't transphobic. I play that game. I am not transphobic in the slightest. I, you know, like I said before, you do whatever you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Be, be trans, be whatever. You know, it, it should not matter to anybody the choices that people make. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, there are dickheads in the world, but... Believe me when I tell you that people who play that game are not transphobic. Of course. I guarantee you 99.9% of people who play that game just aren't. It's like, you know. Yeah, they're just playing the video game or they watch Harry Potter because they like the movies because it's a magical, no pun intended, story. Yeah. Exactly. I just, I just don't get it. No, me neither. Okay. Anyway, so I'm playing um, Hogwarts Legacy and it's very, very good. The level of detail is just unbelievable. And it's massive. Yeah, it looks huge. Like, the, like I know nothing about Harry Potter. 
Um, but even I'm like, this game is really cool. I kind of want to, kind of want to look into it. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts, honestly. Like the just uh, firstly the, the 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 way that the castle is is made, there's, you, you can go anywhere. Wow, you literally go anywhere, and you can just explore the whole of Hogwarts. And then not only that, you can leave the grounds of Hogwarts and go and do other stuff in the wild. Go to you can go to Hogsmeade, which is like the little village thing. Wow. And then you know I'm just about to go to the Forbidden Forest, which is another part. But the, the map is enormous. <laughs> There's stuff to do everywhere, and it's uh, it's it's really really good. So if you if you like Harry Potter, which you know billions of people do, then you need to play this game because it's this is literally the Harry Potter RPG, the the Harry Potter video game that you will have always wanted to play, and you can play it with such freedom, and it's it's just it really is incredible. Yeah, that's cool. So there you go. Awesome. Uh, I've also been playing. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm loving it that much. I bought the controller. Oh yeah, so you said that in Discord. That's cool. Yeah, I, I've ordered the controller from the PlayStation Store. It's sold out now in this country, so I'm glad I ordered it when I did. Yeah. Because I saw the orders were going live at like 10 a.m., and I was like, oh, well, if they're still available, this was like quarter past 10. Thankfully, they were, and I've got one. And I saw an article this morning saying they're sold out. Wow. <laughs> you guys are quickly. There's a lot of potato down yeah. there. Yeah. But it's a stunning, it's a stunning looking controller. To be fair, so I'm looking forward to looking forward to it arriving. Yeah, it looks awesome. Oh, the God of War one looks yeah. really good as well. Yeah, the God of War one. I, I don't know what it is. I've ne- was never bothered about this shit before, <laughs> but now I'm, I love the Dual Sense controller so much that you, I just I don't know. I love I love the way it feels. I love the all the haptics and all the stuff that goes into it. Uh, the designs, some of the limited edition designs are, are really stunning. So yeah, very cool. Like, I'm, I'm like that with some things. Like I got a. The uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, um, mm. uh, what they call them, Joy Cons. Yeah, but they're going to use them. Oh yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're really, really great looking as well. Yeah, it's so pretty. I was scared to use them because I don't want to like wear them out. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. I yeah. know. Oh, yeah, I know. You mean you don't want the design to come off? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like the 3DS that you've got as well is uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask 3DS. I've also got a uh, a Fire Emblem one. Um, yeah. Because I think that's like a 3ds XL, and then my my Majora's Mask one is a new 3ds XL that I came out yeah. with. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Nintendo as well. Very, very Nintendo, but <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm stuck with these kind of things. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I've also been playing Rock Band Four. Nice, classic. Yeah, um, just just on my lunch breaks because I work from home and stuff. So on days when I like don't work out and stuff. Um, you know, I, I take an hour and it's just a nice way to unwind, just standing in front of the TV with a plastic guitar p- yeah. playing songs. And it's still so good now. Yeah. Like, I, I would love to play this game. I think it's, it's the only guitar I've got is the one from the original rock band, which is great. Okay. But it doesn't work with any modern consoles, which kind of sucks. Um, really? Yeah, I tried it because I was like curiosity. I'm playing it into my Xbox Series X and it just didn't recognize it. I looked, oh, um, is it an Xbox One? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's an OG Xbox 360. Okay, because um, I think you need like a legacy adapter or something like that to play with old guitars. Because on the, um, I'm playing it on PS5, Rock Band Four. Mm. But I'm using a Guitar Hero Three um, guitar. Okay. Hmm. Let me see if I can find, see if I can find a cheap one somewhere. Oh, I bought this one from uh, CEX for 30 quid, the guitar. Oh, okay. I thought it was too And you can get a boxed copy of Guitar Hero 4, uh, sorry, Rock Band 4 for super cheap. Or there's like the version that you can buy on the PlayStation Store. It's like the one with all the DLC that came with it. Um, oh, that's cool. So like, there, was like a, there was like a documentary, rockumentary thing where you could, that you could play through, like a story mode uh, and stuff like that. So Rock Band Rivals, that's what it's called. Nice. This so last... you can buy that, and it's always it's always pretty cheap, to be fair. So cool. I think um, the last last just... um, guitar hero, the last rock band game I played was uh, Guitar Hero Live. Mm. I remember virtually nothing about it. Um, <laughs> Memories have been deleted from that era, apparently. But I went to my uh, trophy list and saw it on there. I was like, oh yeah, I vaguely remember that being a thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it was good, but they've they've taken off the online service now. Yeah, I was really. But it's literally just base game. Yeah, it's kind of sucks. But Rock Band 4 is still very much alive, and they keep adding new songs and stuff to it. It's wow. very much still going. So, um, awesome. And it's awesome. You play it, and you know, there's, 
it's just so much fun to play still. Yeah. I love Eden Games. It's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, and Rock Band 4 is one of the best. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but apart from eFootball, which I play every single day, um, that's pretty much all I've been playing at the minute. Cool. Sounds good to me. I've been been so busy doing wrestling stuff. Like, <laughs> I've literally had back-to-back shows the last three weekends. Wow. Nice. And obviously, I did that podcast the other day as well, which, you know, it's nice to be somebody of any sort of anything that people want to talk to you for a podcast. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've just been doing so much. It's nice to have a few weekends off now. Yeah, that's good. The weekends, a couple of weekends just to chill out. Yeah. Naps. But we still got to do this podcast, though. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> we said we were going to do a podcast every week, and we're going to do it. Yeah, hell yeah. or not. Yep. <laughs> Um, pre-show before the pre-show back next week, I guess. Yeah, elimination chamber. Yeah, yeah. That's come around quick, it has, hasn't it? It's because it yeah, felt like really the, the gap between um, the Royal Rumble and the one before it was huge compared to usual. Yeah. So what was but, the one before it? I can't even remember. Uh, oh, it's Survivor TLC. Series? Oh, was it really Survivor Series? Nothing in December. No, because oh yeah, because it's going to be at day one pay per view, which got cancelled. Oh yeah, and then yeah. Yeah, it's a long time. Hmm. Nice. So, yeah. So, yeah, Elimination Chamber. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I think it'd be really good, but we'll talk Is about it... that in a bit. Yeah. Um, Nintendo Direct happened this week, didn't it? It did indeed. I've got a few uh, listed... Well, I've got a list of my announcements here. Do you go through quickly? Yeah, sure. Uh, so it showed off more uh, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. It looks really, really good. It showed off how you can build your own vehicles to fly around, drive around in. Such fun. an understatement as well. It looks really, really good. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Do, yeah. is this, do you think this is the Switch's swan song? Uh, probably, yeah. It's, they can't be too far off announcing the next console or something. Because the Switch has been around a long time. And it has, but I still feel that this is Nintendo's winning formula. This is... It sold so many units. Yeah. Mario Kart 8 is still selling units now. Yeah. You know, I feel like people would just continue to play the Switch forever. It's true. It is, it's still selling loads now. The console itself is still... Yeah. Yeah, it's mental. So I, I think... I mean, you know, I, I pick my Switch up a lot and I don't... You know, the graphics and stuff don't bother me because the games are of such high quality. Yeah, no, same. Pokemon graphics, they fucking suck. We've dragged it enough. <laughs> You know, but you know the the switch is still phenomenal, and I don't see where Nintendo go from here. I know they'll bring something out that'll make us all go, "Ooh!" Ah, ah. But <laughs> combining the handheld with the like being able to play it on the TV was the biggest masterstroke of Nintendo's, you know, entire console life, in my opinion. Yeah, because before they always had one console, and then they always had a, a handheld like the DS and the well, that Game Advance and the GameCube, and then the DS and the Wii. Now, so there's, there's, there's no going back for me. Yeah, I agree. So, so you have to do a Switch too, surely. Yeah, whatever's next, it'll have to be the same sort of technology for sure. It's got to be because it's you know that the the reason the Switch is so good is because you you've got the option there. So exactly. there just cannot be any way back for me to do it any differently. Yeah, same. And then the reason why them Steam copied it with the Steam, whatever it's called, deck, Steam Deck. That's the one. Steam Deck. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Good stuff. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that looks awesome. Um, they announced out of nowhere and released Metroid Prime Remastered. Just yeah, kind of, I know, just right? Kind of like, oh, yeah, by the way, we've got Metroid Prime Remastered. It's available now. Uh, here, enjoy. And yeah, they were like, here's something that's coming from Switch. The, the click thing that they do. Oh, yeah. And then here's, here's Metroid Prime. You're like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, by this... the way, it's out now. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? It's out now. <laughs> I didn't even know this thing existed until now. Yeah. This has been rumoured for a long time now, but yeah, it's just release it out of nowhere is insane. And it's a really good remaster as well. It's not just like an uh like a basic port that's been upscaled. It's like a proper remake almost. Like everything's yeah, been I've, I've heard it's really good and I am gonna get it eventually. I'm gonna clear out some of my backlog. I'm, well, I'm gonna beat Harry Potter. <laughs> um and I'm gonna sort of um yeah, which I aim to do before WWE two K twenty three comes out. Nice. But yeah, Metroid Prime Remastered is absolutely on my... It looks amazing. Yeah, it really is. Metroid Prime is one of my favourite GameCube games, if not my favourite GameCube game. It's so freaking good. 
and they've added new control options. You can play it with motion controls like the Wii, the Wii version, which is really good. Um, you can use dual sticks now. Um, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, and yeah, it looks incredible, and I uh, cannot wait to play that. I'm waiting for the uh, physical version because um, I'm a physical. March player. in this country, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Early March. Be awesome. <laughs> Be awesome when it comes out. It's a code in a box. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I hate that stuff. It's like, why do you do this? What's the point? Yeah. I- yeah, I, I, yeah, I get it. We like to have a box, but come on. <laughs> come on now. I don't get why their boxes are so long either. The cartridges are like this big. I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like the, I've got the... an example here. I have got an example here. Let me... Uh... So look, here's Sonic Frontiers, right? There's a, a box for Sonic Frontiers. So long. And then you open it. The cartridge actually isn't in there because it's in my Switch. But uh, yeah, yeah it's, they're, it's tiny. They're, that, that's, that, they fill it with this, which is bigger than the... <laughs> Which is an which is like a just a leaflet for Sonic Two on Blu-ray. <laughs> you know what they should do? You know what? I had, you know what console I had it right? Hold on. Whoops. Yeah, destroying stuff. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's go with this one. The Vita. Look, that's all I need. Little teeny tiny box. You got a little box out on there. You can still see what it is. Yeah. You know, little thing goes in there. That's all I need. That's still too much box. It's, it's still too much box, but it's at least better than. It's not like super long. What game is that? That's a Zero Time Dilemma. It's by um, Spike mm. Soft. Like a little uh, visual novel sort of mystery game. It's fun. Of course. Of course it's a visual novel. Yeah. Of course. It's really good though. Like a puzzle yeah. game. Uh, but yeah. Make it for your boxes out, Nintendo. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to game. mention that I've been playing for Spoken. Uh, Did I yeah. talk about it on the last podcast? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I've been playing for Spoken and I personally really like it. Cool. Yeah, it looks you know from what I've seen, and I played the demo. Demo was fun. Um, and they're putting a they're putting a patch out to like uh, upgrade the graphics and frame rate and stuff like that. Cool. So I think they've heard some of the moans and groans of the internet. But me personally, I really like it. I don't think the dialogue's cringy. The combat's really good, and um, the traversal is awesome. So there we nice. go. That's my thoughts on Forspoken. It's good. It's good. Yeah, that's one I've I'll you know give, give a play at some point. I'll nick it off mm. your profile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Def- yeah. Definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> that was no sign. I dropped my Diablo skull. <laughs> oh, that, that's awesome as well. <laughs> it's got a, the sling as a USB stick. It's oh, a, right. Nice. It's got Diablo one and two installed on there. It's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've also got this. This from um, No More Heroes three. That's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Anyway, they're on sale on the Switch store at the minute. Actually, I saw that. They're really good. I recommend them. Hmm. <laughs> Really good. I'm not buying any more games at the minute. That's spending so much money on games. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm going to um, save money because the VR two comes out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, Ooh, I'm glad I, I'm I'm jealous, but I'm also glad that I've not bought one because <laughs> yeah, it's just so much money and so much gaming time that I already don't have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's a problem. But uh, I'll live vicariously through you. That's fair. Uh, but watching the unboxings, um, it looks good. Um, there's only one cable, thank goodness. Uh, I think um, someone posted a, a comparison in Discord, like all they the did. junk, it's all the junk that comes with the first VR, and then PSVR two has one cable. It's like that's so much better, so much better. I mean, it, to be honest, they if they'd have they could have probably released it as a standalone unit like the Quest, yeah, and it could still be PlayStation VR because you just have the. Uh, playstation user interface on there and you know it's all good but i guess you know that uses the power of the ps5 and whatnot um the cable is still a little bit disappointing to me and that's might be one of the things that i'd struggle with yeah if i was to get it because i am used to that the freedom of the quest with no wires whatsoever but um yeah i mean it's going to be absolutely phenomenal I, there's no you get no gripe from me with regards to the VR. A lot of people are very skeptical. I remember when the PS VR first one came out, oh, it's just a fad, it'll never take off. Yeah, well, joke's on you, ass wife, because <laughs> uh, it's going from strength to strength and yeah. will only get better and better. Uh, but the PS VR 2 looks unbelievable. So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to live vicariously through you and enjoy you telling me of your experiences with it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do some sort of videos on YouTube about them. I've already got yeah. ideas, just, just like short little mini playthroughs i guess yeah really fun. Can I yeah watch? it's gonna be awesome I'm, I'm super excited for you guys i keep saying it but i'm really excited for you guys <laughs> because i feel like i've already sort of uh 
been experiencing a, a newer level of VR compared to the PlayStation VR. Yeah. Um, with the Quest, which, by the way, it's just had like a, an update, which has made the games have better visual fidelity, um, which is great. Nice. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it was already good anyway. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited for, for you guys to, to get your VRs and I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I've uh, downloaded a few games already. I've downloaded uh, Grand Judgment 7 many years ago. I downloaded No Man's Sky for PS5. Got a free update from the PS4 version, which is nice. Thanks for that. Oh, um, was there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> free upgrade oh, right, okay. PS5, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Resident Evil Village. Uh, I'm tempted to, to pre order The Light Brigade. It's like a roguelike sort of shooter. Looks really fun. Okay. Might, might pre order that. Um, and yeah, I think that's it so far, but. Last up to what, what is good about VR games is the fact that they are cheaper experiences generally. I know, like, you know, Horizon's a full price game, but you're getting a full price experience. You know, you're getting a full playstation exclusive which you know they very rarely miss yeah yeah that's the people um, the uh, bundle with that as well oh yeah exactly yeah so it's uh yeah it's just a, such an exciting time man G- gaming right now is just mind-blowingly good yeah so cool across the board yeah but play- playstation just i'm really fucking knocking it out of the park at the minute uh, Xbox needs some exclusives. I mean, you know, this feels yeah. like a tired <laughs> argument at this point, but it does. Hi-Fi Rush is great, by the way. I don't know if you've played it yet or not. I've not. I want it though. It's really, really good. You should definitely get on it. It's it's very, very good. Cool. Um, and you'll 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 really like it. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it looks like like an action rhythm game, isn't it? It's my two of my favorite yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> and it's not overly long either. Yeah, um, that's good. But yeah, you know, there's games coming, but you know. It feels like it's the same old story with Xbox. The games are coming, but come on, where are they? Yeah, I feel like they're few and far between. Yeah, like the last good, apart, you know, Hi-Fi Rush is not a, it's a triple A game, but it, it isn't, you know, it isn't up there with the likes of God of War, etc., etc. Yeah. But PlayStation have built a whole new VR in the time and bringing out PlayStation exclusive VR games in the time that it's taken Microsoft to put fucking Hellblade 2 together. <laughs> yeah. And Star, you know? Starfield. But there's the one. Starfield, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's what, that is what it's called, isn't it? The Bethesda one. I think so. Which I've no doubt will be great, by the way. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. It looks, what I've seen, it's just like, I don't know, Bethesda, but space. Skyrim in space, I Pretty guess. Much, yeah, Skyrim in space. <laughs> yeah. Redfall looks really good. Um, you know, Forza Motorsport looks incredible. Yeah. Really good, but come on, these these games need to start coming out now. This console's been out two and a bit years, and you know, I, I love the con. I love the Series X. I think it's awesome. Yeah, we've got Halo. But come on, there. man, and it's kind of it. <laughs> gears, yeah, gears. Which you know, gears is great as well. By the way, yeah, gears five was awesome. I loved my playthrough of it. I thought it was brilliant. Nice, but come on, these games need to keep coming down. Yeah, come on. Show people why, you know, people need to be playing an Xbox in 2023. Can't just rely on Game Pass all the time. Game Pass is great. You can't rely on it. People want these experiences that are, you know, that are the reason for buying the console, which is why PlayStation is just so above and beyond in terms of gaming quality. Yeah. Like, God of War is better than anything I've played on Xbox in the last 10 years. Yeah. It's like, it's like Returnal, Probably longer. Demon Souls. Um, Ghost of Sima. Last, yeah, Last of Us Part One. Yeah, um, Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just loads of just, yeah, loads. And Xbox has got Halo, Forza. <laughs> yeah, Halo, Forza, Gears. Gears. Yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, and I'm a big Xbox dude, you know. Yeah, well, I'm Xbox. On. Fucking hell! But <laughs> these games have got to start coming out now. Yeah, I can with it. Come on. Yeah. Look at the pace. Yeah. Hey, look, no, don't do that because the Switch sign's going to come on in a minute and we're going to oh, show yeah. some random Japanese visual novel game that we've, <laughs> uh, that we've never heard of. I think, yeah. It's coming out today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what were we talking Oh, we were actually talking about the, the length of the Switch boxes and then we've gone off oh, yeah. on a complete tangent for 20 minutes and Just I've now forgotten what we were talking about. Yeah. Nintendo Direct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Pikmin 4 release date's been announced uh, July 21st. Into like, Pikmin? Never really played it. Played the first two. And yeah, they were fun. Not like my favourite GameCube games, but they were enjoyable, you know. 
So where's Pikmin 3? What's that on? We you? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Memorable then. Yeah. I don't think I played that one. But yeah, the first first couple I, I did enjoy. Just that's not, I think not I like a demo for one. Yeah. They're decent. Yeah. Um speaking of releasing straight away, uh, the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are out now on uh oh, yeah. Nintendo Switch online. I, do uh, a... I think Game Boy Advance is plus expansion pack only, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Uh, we'll do yeah. A quick... I, I do. I've downloaded both. Nice. Yeah, same. Uh, I had a quick play on Mario Land 2. There's six golden coins. Just a very nostalgic for me. Mm. I played that on my Game Boy back in the day, many, many years ago. Run well? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. yeah imagine if it didn't run well. <laughs> like, <laughs> super laggy, <laughs> you know, yeah. what a stupid question to ask. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look forward to more games coming to that. Yeah. It's good that they do this. I think it's, you know, there's no reason why these things... I mean, like we, we talked about the N64 in the car last weekend and, you know, how difficult that is to, to emulate, but Nintendo seemingly obviously have the technology to do so. Yeah. So you just chuck all the, just chuck your games on there, you know? Yeah, why not? Whack them on there. Yeah, whack them on there. <laughs> I know another game that's on there is uh, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, which came out on literally everything. I think I originally had it on Dreamcast, but it also came out on PS2, PS1, Game Boy Color, to fridge. I don't know, but it's <laughs> <laughs> fridge. It's so now we laugh. There is fridges with TVs in them now. Yeah, it is a really good game. The PS1 and two versions and Dreamcast are all really good. It's like Resident Evil style games basically. But the Game Boy Color game, less good. <laughs> it's, it's, I can it's, imagine it's less good. Yeah, it's cool though. But it's always that all of, of all the Nintendo the, the like uh, Game Boy Color games. Why that one? Strange. It is a weird one, actually, isn't it? Yeah. The like other ones: Mario Land Two, yeah, Tetris, yep. Yeah. Um, uh, Link's Awakening, yep. Yeah. Uh, Mario Land Three, yep. Yeah. Metroid Two, yep. Yeah. Alone in the Dark. Okay. <laughs> no, it didn't sure, quite have yeah. the same level of uh, uh, goodness. I don't know. I saw I saw a guy in town earlier on today. Um, like playing the accordion. This seems to be a thing now where there's just guys in town playing the accordion. Yeah. <laughs> and he was playing the Tetris theme song and I literally just walked past and went Tetris and then just walked off. <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just walked past and just went Tetris and then just w- walked past. <laughs> uh, good times. Didn't even put money in his hat or whatever he had. <laughs> yeah. Accordion box. I don't know why <laughs> accordion, accordion comes in. <laughs> uh, good times. Uh, Nintendo Direct. Yeah, Tetris. Nintendo. Tetris, woo. Uh, remember Mario Kart 8? Remember that game? It's, it's still no. going. <laughs> it's still going. It's going to get another booster course pack, Wave 4, maps, stuff. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so new coming. characters and new new courses. Yeah. That's, cool. that's still how they're still going. Why are you still buying Because this? it's still selling a million <laughs> copies a week. That's why. <laughs> that's so crazy to me. How is it's like I always think this with Grand Theft Auto Five, right? But if you've got a Switch, how do you not already have Mario Kart? Exactly. I people just buying the game again and again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost my copy. Let's find another one. Yeah, I swallowed. I bought it digital, but for some reason I deleted it. So I'm just gonna buy it again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's crazy. nuts. <laughs> how do you not have it already? Yeah, I did it twice. I have it on Wii U as well for some reason. Instead <laughs> of my Wii U version. <laughs> absolutely unbelievable just don't bother back your thing is we've gone through and in if the switch does if this is the swan song for the switch this like if, if zelda is the swan song we've gone through an entire nintendo generation of one mario kart game that came out the generation before yeah just mario kart 8 <laughs> it is literally the gta 5 of the switch it really is insane but the booster packs are awesome, to be fair. Like, yeah, they do like so many, add tons of stuff. Yeah, so many maps and, yeah, re, like well made, you know, remakes of maps. Crazy. Yeah. And like, they've, like, because uh, obviously there's a Mario Kart mobile game. Yeah. But there's, um, you know, new versions of those maps, which are great, actually. Yeah. Uh, they're like landmarks from around the world, like actual places. And they're really cool. And there's actually new, actually new tracks as well. Yeah. It's so cool. So, mate, essentially, we've had Mario Kart Nine, but we've had it in the form of booster pack because, of course, Nintendo call it that and not 
Do you know what? It's DLC. Why pack? Everything's pack. <laughs> yeah. Rumble pack. Plus expansion pack. Weirdest, shittest name ever. Yeah. Booster pack. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> this, this is in the 90s. Mario Kart 8 visual novel pack. <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Uh, what else? Got Splatoon three expansion pass. We did actually call it expansion pass. Oh, this time. <laughs> expansion pass. Yeah, right. so so inconsistent as well, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe got a new trailer coming out February twenty fourth. It was cool. Cool. More Kirby came out on the Wii originally. That's no, a remake essentially. Of course it is. Of course. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 got a new expansion pass back pass park pa- pass park pass park 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 pass <laughs> uh, uh, Fire Emblem Engage new DLC uh, this new Disney game Disney Illusion it's like uh, a bit, oh it looks awesome did like the Disney platform done in like the old school animation style a bit like Cuphead looks really yeah. nice it's very cool. Because also this is, uh, I guess, a follow-on from Castle slash World of Illusion. Yeah, seems that way. I still have. Which, by the way, Illusion. those games ripped back in the day. So good. Yeah, so good. So so good. Yeah. Uh, Octopath Traveler Two demo came out on Switch and PS4, which I've played actually. It's pretty good. Cool. Uh, Bayonetta Origins um, and the rest of the subtitle, which I won't read because it's I can't say it. <laughs> Theresa, <laughs> Theresa and the Lost Demon. Yeah. Oh, God Almighty. Looks good. God. Almighty! <laughs> yep. Stop doing this. <laughs> Just call Bayonetta Origins. Stop there. That's fine. That that is literally all the title that you need. Yeah. So read it out. What's it called? Uh, so it's Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon, or Cereza. I think that's right. like Bayonetta's actual original name or something. Right. It doesn't need to be called that, does it? No. Bayonetta Origins. Bayonetta Perfect. Origins. Yeah. The end. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Full so, stop. Full stop. It's sort of a like puzzly sort of top down uh, bit game. It looks nice. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Dead Cells Return to Castlevania. It's like DLC pack for Dead Cells. I do like so much Castlevania. Like yeah. Very cool. Um, the Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection brings the original three games from the DS to Nintendo Switch. I think they're DS games. Cool. Um, we've got Basin Katos. Good name. One and two HD remasters. <laughs> they were GameCube games, JRPGs <laughs> back in the day. So God cool. Almighty! God, I can't <laughs> even with Nintendo and these some of these fucking games. I oh, know. Um, Tron Identity. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Tron Identity. It's what? Like a, like a Tron game, like sort of visual puzzle adventure game. Uh, a new narrative puzzle adventure game. Yeah. Oh, who's asked for this? Nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Literally nobody. I don't know why this exists. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you're doing this. You're gonna put it out at full price. It's gonna not sell, and then we're gonna be able to buy it for basically fuck all. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, we've got a new Professor Layton game announced, which is pretty cool. Uh, cool. cool okay. Uh, from popular. the DS era. Yeah. Very cool. Good stuff. There is already one on Switch, isn't there? Um, I don't know actually. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if there is actually. I don't. I think don't I might be lying. Think so. I could be wrong. Uh, we've got Samba the Amigo. Remember him? Oh, Cast? yeah. Party Central. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically the rhythm game. You play as Samba the Amigo, like a monkey thing. You shake your maracas or your joy guns. <laughs> it's like a monkey thing. He is a monkey thing, right? It's <laughs> just a monkey, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a weird it cartoonish monkey, monkey thing? thing. It's a monkey thing. <laughs> is it? Uh, is it? Is it motion controls for the maracas? Yeah, pretty much. It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Shake your joy guns. Good times. Uh, we've got <laughs> Harmony, The Fall of Reverie by uh, the Life is Strange developers. Don't nod. It's a, it's a game. I don't know what type of game yeah. it is. I assume it's the same type of game. Harmony, as The Fall of Reverie. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they think it needs a subtitle? I don't know. Harmony. Harmony is a good name. Yeah. <laughs> or call it Fall of Reverie. Don't call it Harmony. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? It's, it's, these games need to... Someone needs to sit down with these people, right, when, they, when they're when naming games. Yeah. Like, oh, we've got, a, we've got a game in, in the works. Oh, okay, cool. What, 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 um, what kind of game is it? It's a, you know, uh, you'll be surprised to know because that's all we make in this place. It's a visual <laughs> novel. Yeah. Excellent. What are you going to call it? Uh, we're going to call it uh, Detective. Cool. That's fine. That's great. That sounds good. Oh, no, no. We're not done. <laughs> 
Curse of the frying pan that went down the street and then got hit by a car and um, Origins 3. What? <laughs> the Exhibition. Yeah, that's, that's what the game's called. The Exhibition. <laughs> the Exhibition point two point three HDMI. What? Why are you calling it this? <laughs> uh, oh, that's what the, that's just what the game's called. How are we going to fit it on the box? I don't know. We'll just figure it out. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll put the we'll put the subheading in really little writing underneath the big heading detective. <laughs> that's how it works. I'm pretty certain that's how it goes. Pretty much. Speaking of pointless subtitles, right? Fa- <laughs> fan- <laughs> Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. Oh come <laughs> on! There's no way that. Come yeah. on, man. What's it called? Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. <laughs> Features no. Island. Features Island building, time travel, and more. Right. It doesn't need all of them for, for an island building game. Yeah. It doesn't need to be called all of them words. Fantasy Life. Stop. That's it. <laughs> or the girl who steals time. You don't need both. No, not even that. <laughs> get get scrap, scrap the eye as well. What's that? Why is that in there? <laughs> Why does that need to be there? <laughs> Japan, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that's, oops, that's so dumb. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, we got a new remaster. We love Katamari Gata- re roll. I'm pretty sure it already exists. Plus Royal Reverie. Two reveries and one direct. Oh, no! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> You're making these up now. That cannot be real. That's real, unfortunately. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Japan, stop! You're just out of control <laughs> at this point. Yeah. You know? Oh, Jesus. Uh, did you ever play the Ghost Trick games on DS? The what, sorry? The Ghost Trick Phantom Detectives games. They're very cool. No. Made by Capcom. They're like... Uh, Sort of like point and click. Do not say games. visual novel games. It's there's a lot like a point and click puzzle. Visual no, novel. I have heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a murder mystery game. It's very cool. It's, okay. Uh, they guess originally came out to Switch. Very cool. We've been going for an hour and we've said nothing really. Pretty We're much. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? Ooh, fashion, fashion dreamer. Oh, I saw this. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. I'm surprised this doesn't have a subtitle. Fashion Dreamer Deluxe uh, Clothes Edition. Yeah, Fashion <laughs> Fashion Dreamer Kit Your Wardrobe Out in the Fanciest Things of All Time I.2.3. <laughs> yeah. Switch version. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you're into fashion designing, <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> Why is this game being made? Who knows? Who knows? Um, hey, another game with a point subtitle. Uh, oh. Ma- <laughs> Master Detective Archives Rain Code. <laughs> 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 Why is Rain Code there? <laughs> made by the, guy, the guys who made uh, Danged Romper, aka okay, Spike Chunsoft. Um, Why is Rain Code there? Who knows? <laughs> what does it even mean? <laughs> it means nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, it's a mystery game made by guys who made uh, Danko Romper and um, uh, Zero Escape and Fire Fire uh, Wrestling, Fire Pro Wrestling. Yeah, stop fucking around <laughs> and bringing these games out with Rain Code as a subtitle and give me Fire Pro Wrestling World Japanese Arm Drag Edition if you have <laughs> to put a fucking extra title on it or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, man. So yeah, that's a lot of Japanese games that have been announced for. So many Japanese games, but no Fire Pro Wrestling. No Fire Pro Wrestling. The Switch is perfect for it. What are you doing? Uh, uh, what are you doing? So yeah. It's Steam Deck verified. It runs on a handheld. Just It's fucking 2.5D wrestling game. <laughs> it can't be that hard. Jam- Fire Pro Wrestling World X.2.3 point point Rain <laughs> Maker Japanese arm drag version, <laughs> point three. You know, it's, just bring that version out. Fine. <laughs> Code in a box. I'm fine with it. Just <laughs> yeah. Give me what I want. Give Batista, me what I want. give me what I want. 
It's Here, oh, here's a detective it. game, Rain Mode. That's not what I want. <laughs> uh, it does look good, though, to be fair. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's one of the big things. That's pretty much that's everything they announced. Uh, Metroid Prime and Zelda are the ones you want. Wow, we could have just we could have done that whole segment in about two minutes, like less than that. Pretty much. Instead, with <laughs> these fucking, I cannot believe these games. I know, it's so good. Right. Rain code. Rain code. I'm in absolute disbelief that these things are just real. <laughs> Every single month, there's new stuff with outrageous subtitles. <laughs> yeah. Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. That's my favourite one. <laughs> oh, Wait, why did I? <laughs> why? Japan is out of control, man. It needs... Somebody needs to go over there and just talk to them seriously. Yeah. But the Kingdom Hearts games are bad enough. We don't need... Oh, my God. We don't need all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm going to stream Doritos Crash Course next week. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, cool. So, wrestling. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of this bollocks in AEW where um, if you want to wrestle MJF, you have to wrestle 100 other people first. Or if you want to wrestle a heel, the good guy has got to wrestle 100 other people to get to him. That is been done to death. Stop doing it. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's been done. Yeah. I didn't watch AEW this week. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, but you want to you want to get to me? Wow, you've got to wrestle every week until you've. It's like an arcade game. Like the big, <laughs> the, they're like the that, yeah. boss, and they've got to fight everyone else to get to you. Yeah. Stop doing it. You've done it loads of times now. It's unnecessary. That you know, not every storyline needs to be that way. Exactly. Don't get me wrong. We're getting some great matches. Yeah. But it doesn't need to be happening. So uh, stop doing that. Uh, right. <laughs> MGF's promo. Um, people took it seriously, called the police, because Americans. Stupid. Uh, yeah. People are so stupid. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, he just admitted to whatever it was. It's also, like, if you're watching pro wrestling, you should be able to see through this bullshit. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. It's You're watching pro wrestling for a start, okay? Yeah. You should be able to, you should be able to, you know know the difference between wrestling and reality <laughs> yeah come on it's like the police were like uh, yeah we're looking into it but we're pretty sure it's something with a TV show <laughs> it's like the legally yeah, we, we watch but... Dynamite as well <laughs> yeah the police have got it on in the car <laughs> like, we've just watched this as well we're, you know we're not we're, we don't need to be there yeah it's so dumb dumb um, but yeah I just say matches are great storylines bleh Kind of a bit better. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Ask the goat what they think about the uh, storylines. The what? Oh, the goat. goat. Oh, the goat. Of course. What do you think about these uh, storylines, Mister Goat? <laughs> yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wrestling good. Storylines not good. Exactly. Um, WWE, on the other hand. Sorry, AW Max. Uh, AW is. Doing... Yeah, we're gonna get tore apart <laughs> again for this. Yeah. Is AW is kind of doing a lot of everything right so far? There are some some bad, don't get me wrong, um, but it's a lot a lot right. Like the Roman Reigns stuff, great. Sami Zayn, super over. Cody Rhodes, super over. Um, there is that danger of people turning on Cody just because Sami Zayn's so popular. Like Sami Zayn's not going to win at Elimination Chamber probably. Um, if Sammy wins at some point, they, they can do this in a way, and I think Triple H is smart enough where they don't um, have them both interfering with each other. Yeah, this seems like an obvious solution. Mm. Like, there's two titles. You got two people who, two super over popular people who people want both to win. There's two nights at WrestleMania. <laughs> it seems <laughs> come on so <laughs> logical to just do it that way, doesn't it? Yeah, two titles, two two people. Two nights at WrestleMania. <laughs> Come on. <It's> two. Yeah, <laughs> it's two. It literally <laughs> writes itself. <laughs> it does. Uh, I don't know. Come on, Triple H. You know what you're doing. He does. I think it, I think that it's just finding that way to separate the tiles. Yeah. Like the, the tag team title match 
uh, the uh, tag team, yeah, SmackDown tag team title match was just for the SmackDown titles. After all, last week it was announced for both. Yes, I, I noticed and that then, on the graphic. It was just for the SmackDown tag team titles. Yeah, the team be flip flopping that a little bit, but it was actually just for the SmackDown ones. Didn't matter anyway because it was just one. Um, but it was interesting that it, it was just SmackDown. So hopefully that means they're looking to split them up. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's the smart thing to do because, you know, you've, you've got tag teams on SmackDown, good tag teams. Yeah. You've got tag teams on Raw, actual tag teams now, which is crazy. So, you know, <laughs> right. two separate tag team divisions is doable. Yeah. So just do it, I guess. You know, again, it's that logic. You've got two shows and two lots of belts. There you go. That's it. <laughs> That's what we, need. we fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> two idiots with goat noises fixed it. Uh, yeah, speaking, of, speaking of tag teams, um, we need more women's tag teams. Speaking of, um, Toxic Attraction just broke up. And I saw tweets from Cultaholic Wrestling, which is probably my favorite sentence in all of Twitter. Uh, so okay. did, you see, did you see how they broke up? No. Uh, it's basically um, there's it's an episode of Ding Dong Hello by with Bailey. Um, oh, I did see it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, JK Jane uh, basically uh, threw or tried to throw Gigi Dolan into the door. The door didn't break properly. Yeah. And then she so hoofed him in the face as hard as possible. <laughs> 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 really brutal. And she, and she posted, posted a picture online with like a massive boot print on her face. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it it yeah it didn't look great. It must be said. Yeah, but so uh, the tweet said uh, Dolan is said to be fine following a very rough kick into the ding dong hello door. And that is a sentence that can only be said <laughs> in wrestling. <laughs> it's said to yeah, be yeah, and pe- and yet people who watch wrestling call the police on over promos. <laughs> yeah, it's said to be fine following a very rough kick into the ding dong hello door. <laughs> what Great! That? What a what an incredible headline that actually yeah. is. I show that to a non wrestling fan. It's like, are you okay? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> are you? Is that a Japanese point and click game? <laughs> yeah, the Ding Dong Hello Door. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good times. Yeah, yeah, good times. Good uh, old wrestling never disappoints. Yeah, but seriously though, stop breaking up women's tag teams. There aren't many. Like, who's, who's even the woman? Also, I worry for it's JC Jane that I actually worry for on her own. Gigi Dolan, I think, is great. I think she's got you know, even when she was Priscilla Kelly, I think she uh, she has the look and the gimmick to carry her as a singles. Mm. Whereas I don't, I've never really thought all that much to JC Jane. Yeah, JC Jane's missing that spark. something. something. Yeah. yeah, Gigi Dolan's got it all. She was always the most you know, popular one out of the two of them. I feel like um, so hopefully JC's able to find something. Because I don't think, with her current, I don't know, presentation, I guess, um, she's going to go very far. Hopefully, I'm wrong. You know, I don't want yeah, anyone to pay. Yeah, it, it, it definitely felt like she was the the weaker of the three in Toxic Attraction. Obviously, Mandy yeah. is Mandy, um, and you know, Gigi Dolan comes down with the with the top hat and the rose and all that sort of stuff. So, it's it just works and it looks great. It's a really good aesthetic and she's great anyway. But yeah, JC Jane's just there's there's something missing from that character. There's something missing from that. She hey look, she they they find the gimmick for her. She she'll be fine. Yeah, I did. You know, it but you need to find the gimmick. Doing. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Find the right gimmick for her, and she'll be okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's just strange that they broke them up because they were they were doing the perfect ready made tag team for the main roster, and this crap. I honestly can't think who the main roster tag team champions are. Right now, uh, damage control. Oh, of course, I yeah, think. damage control. Yeah, but yeah, who's gonna who's gonna face damage control? There's no tag teams. Let's just Dana Brooke and someone, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just throw another couple together. Like is this... Nia Jax back or is she not back? Well, she hasn't been on any TV shows. So hopefully, she's just gone. Hopefully, it was they brought one. a t-shirt out. What happened? Yeah. What happened? Who knows? Maybe maybe she's. Okay. Tell you... Maybe she's like, okay, I'll make one of her payments, but you have to make a T-shirt for me so I can make some money. Yeah. I'll tell you who I'm big into at the minute, who I think is is really great, is Chelsea Green. Yeah, I like Chelsea a lot. I like her character. Yeah, I think her character's awesome. Yeah. Her pre- she, she's she got superstar written all over her. She did before anyway, but her presentation is great. She's got a great look. She's playing this character, a blinder, which I knew she would anyway. Yeah. And K hey, thanks, bye, is, good, is bye. a ready-made catchphrase for a T-shirt. So... Yep. No, it's just great. I like Chelsea Green a lot. Yeah. Um, and you can tell they think a lot of her because she was on SmackDown as well. 
yeah uh chicken people like a lot you, you don't get much attention uh got maximum male models have been doing a lot of youtube stuff and they're yeah so funny i highly recommend checking they're out. really funny they've took that gimmick which should never work in a million years in this day and age yeah and they've made it their own and it's so good it's yeah. like you know it, i i liken it to what fandango and tyler breeze did yeah they took gimmicks that were really not i mean fandango should have never have worked and yet he's still doing it now he obviously can't be you know dirty dango now or whatever it is yeah but he's still carrying that gimmick around with him whereas you would think that gimmicks like that would be dropped like a bad habit when they you know leave wwe yeah but some gimmicks as shit as they seem just work yeah sometimes you've got to go with the flow you know make the best out of it and they've done really well like Mansoor they're both they're all three of them are very funny very entertaining Man- Mansoor Mansoir especially is hilarious like what's uh, yeah. up up down down is a regular one there he's just a very funny person naturally yeah I, you know what I remember he did the pre-show for one of the Saudi shows once oh yeah and he was hilarious yeah he's so good he made Pat McAfee look a dickhead <laughs> yeah um but yeah, he's uh, on up and down down. Everyone's got like the nicknames. His nickname is Snake Peter. Like uh, <laughs> I got Metal Gear Solid Three, but yeah, <laughs> uh, he's great. Yeah, he's super entertaining. But uh, you know, mate Marseille uh, Mace, he's taken that gimmick and they they've just done so well with it. And I I would love to see them win when the Usos have eventually drop the titles. I would love to see Maximum Male Models win them and have just the most hilarious run with them yeah they want raw now um uh maxine seems to be oh, they're eyeing... on raw now yeah they don't think backstage oh, okay. and maxine seems to be eyeing up otis it was just a ladies man uh, which is yeah. quite funny um i was just like threw his towel away his sweaty towel landed on mantle's face it's like ah it's very funny <laughs> um yeah okay so put the given the raw tiles that's fine yeah works for me and again let them have a an absolutely hilarious run with them yeah it's so good. Yeah, it'd be so, so good. Um, but I'll be saying every week, but WWE really is in a great place at the minute. I'm just super, I'm really looking forward to Elimination Chamber. Yep. I think uh, I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be great. It's going to be a really good, fun show. It won't be five hours or whatever, like the Royal Rumble, which is already good. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to doing the pre-show before the pre-show because the last time we did it, it was really good. I might yeah. set that up now so that we can promote it for a week, actually. Good idea. That's a good idea, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. But I have to. Be, I've not had chance to watch a great deal of wrestling this week. No, that's fair. You've been busy. So busy. Uh, I've also just doing wrestling stuff. Yeah, I've been so busy. So I've not had chance to watch a great deal. Hence why I didn't know the maximum male models were on Raw. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that means because they didn't really do much since SmackDown. So hopefully now the mood that like gives them more of a platform to uh, shine. They I mean, there's there's a longer time to fill on Raw in terms of content. Very true. I think it was smart getting LA Knight out of there because LA Knight is just so good on his own. He doesn't need that. Yeah. Um, dropping out of Maxine makes perfect sense. And yeah, we're just doing it. Honestly, if, if, if anyone hasn't seen their YouTube stuff, go watch it. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, speaking of really good, Paul Heyman killed it with you know two lots of promos this week from oh, yeah. the stuff that I have seen. Um, first with Cody on Raw, then with Sammy on SmackDown. Yeah. Incredible. Um, unbelievable. Paul Heyman never misses. He's just absolutely incredible. As an on-screen performer, you know, almost second to none on the microphone. Yeah. He's insane how good he is. Still. All these years, and he's still... He knows... Get, getting better and better. Yeah. He seriously is, yeah. He just knows how to, just how to tell a story and talk to a crowd. It's, yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Um, I would... Yeah, I, I, I think Cody's great promo wise anyway i think yeah. them two could have a really great back and forth in the build to wrestlemania because that's be fair it is going to be roman versus cody but roman needs a second opponent for wrestlemania yeah agreed if he's going to wrestle both nights but i mean they take take the you know have sammy take the belt off him at elimination chamber then have kevin owens and sammy Zayn build for wrestlemania yeah that'd be awesome ko is the heel sammy is the face yeah works for me because ko is a better heel always yeah yeah, yeah. agreed um, they could. Another thing they could do is have Owens and Sammy take the tag titles after Usos, but again, like, Sammy just is so over right now. He needs a singles push. I think finally. 
I think so too, but I wouldn't be against them taking the belts off the Usos. Yeah, I mean, I'd be okay with it. You know, it's. But I don't know. But, but, but it, I, yeah. I'm, I like you, would prefer to see both of them doing main championship runs. Yeah. But as I said, the story writes itself. It's like, uh, come on, it seems obvious. Like, I don't know. We'll yeah, it does. It, it seems completely obvious. Yeah. And maybe it's the obvious route that they'll end up taking. But at the minute, I I just don't know. I, I don't know what direction they're going to go in for WrestleMania. Pro- we probably won't until after Elimination Chamber. Yeah. I mean, I have faith in, you know, Triple H's booking. It's been really good so far for the most part. Yeah. Not all mi- not all hits, but, you know, very few misses in comparison Yeah, to the previous regime. Yeah. Um, Mad- got Ma- 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 Madcap Moss is now the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Which is uh, sure okay, something. <laughs> it's like okay. change his name back to Riddick Moss. Yeah, if they haven't already. Yeah, I think he's still Madcap. Uh, but he just is another guy. Who just doesn't is you know all the potential in the world. He just doesn't have a gimmick. His wrestler, no, he's too plain. He's, too plain. Yeah, well, no, he is wrestler man, and has he has a girlfriend who is Emma. <laughs> that's, his, that's his gimmick, man with girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man with generic tights, boots, and knee pads. Long hair and beard. Literally, create a wrestler. I was going to say that, yeah. Create a wrestler default, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, he has potential, for sure. He looks, physique-wise, he looks the part. Yeah. But he needs that something. I know, you know, Gunther is already very no frills, but he makes that gimmick work. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, one of the best. But, you know, Madcap, firstly, terrible first name. You know, I, I don't know. There's, there's something, you know, like JC Jane, as we mentioned before, there's something very much missing with Riddick Moss. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. The potential's there. The, the the idea isn't. Yeah. He's not going to be the one to beat Gunther, is he? Let's be honest. <laughs> exactly, yeah. He's, he's Villa until WrestleMania Baldy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think who, who would face him at WrestleMania. Brock would be awesome. But I think they're saving Brock for Lashley. I think are they not going to do Lashley and Brock at Elimination Chamber? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Because it feels like there's too long until WrestleMania for them to just keep beating each other up every week. True, true. Hmm. Maybe fail maybe like triple threat, Gunther, Lashley, Brock. That'd be cool. <laughs> they have a match. <laughs> I don't think that will happen, but that would be awesome. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? I mean it, it would be cool. I, I can't help but feel you'd need Gunther to win. Yeah, he'd be. Yeah, it's um to beat Lesnar. I mean, yeah, that would like put him at the next level for sure into the main event. Yeah, picture. And then you build him, you build him for a year, and then you have him win the title, the the main championship. Because yeah. there's no doubt he's heading in that direction. Absolutely. He's already made the IC title look better than anybody that's had it in the last. Poof, I, so many years. Yeah, in fact, it's the longest reigning uh, Intercontinental title champion uh, in the 21st century, apparently. It's beating Cody Rhodes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's, so Cody Rhodes was the one before that? Yeah, yeah. When he had that incredible run as dashing Cody Rhodes with the IC title. Yep. And then uh, when he had the, mar- the undashing <laughs> with his uh, face mask, which is excellent, with yeah. the paperbacks. And that that yeah. was dashing, wasn't it? And then, yeah. It was, was really great. good. Like really the, good. Yeah, because he had like the see-through mask, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. That's very good. That was really good. That was the that was the last time I liked Cody Rhodes before <laughs> his current run. Yeah, same. Um Yeah. But yeah, Gunther man, oh my god, just phew. he looks unstoppable at the minute. And it that is the correct way to book him. Yep. Agreed. He'd have lost that title ages ago if Vince was still booking him. Yeah. Uh, rumors where he uh, Vince wanted to bury Gunther for some bizarre reason. Yeah, but I mean, you know, look at how well he's doing. Yeah, he's he's literally unbelievable. Just a great Royal Rumble performance. Yep, he's been great with the IC title. Had incredible matches. Yeah, consistently, no shit matches. Just consistently, good matches all the time. Yep, just yeah, he's so it's one of the best wrestlers in the world, in my opinion. Yeah, and it has been for a long, long time. But now yeah. he's in the best shape of his life on the biggest platform of his life. You know, you know, he's going to have a banger of a WrestleMania match, you know, regardless of who he wrestles. Yeah. And he, he like elevates everyone he wrestles with as well. Like, 
It's yeah. a food that Seamus, I know Seamus has been around forever, but you know, Seamus has never been like super, super over until now, pretty much. And I think I yeah. came from uh, the feud with Gunther. I mean, I'd love, absolutely love for it to be Pete Dunn. Oh my God, to amazing. take the belt off him. Yeah, imagine. That Give so us good. that match at WrestleMania. Triple H knows it makes sense as <laughs> yeah. well. He yeah. knows that that would be a banger. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring Tyler Bate in. Why not? Well, yeah, I mean, but well, Tyler, I think Tyler's on NXT currently, isn't he? I think so. Yeah. But no, yeah, well, yeah, you're right. Because obviously Tyler and Walter headlined uh, TakeOver Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. It was awesome. So cool. Um, but oh, I'd love it to be Pete Dunne. I would absolutely love it to be Pete. I, it won't be, but I would love it to be. Yeah. Man. Well, because look, we know what we're getting, and Triple H can just trust them to go out there and probably show up the WrestleMania main event. Yeah, <laughs> it, really, it really would, wouldn't it? Like, like whatever yeah. any, any say they're on, they're on. It's like Walter or Gunther versus whoever is always like usually the best match on the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'd just be yeah. He's a special talent. He really is a special talent, and it's great to see him doing so well in WWE. Good succeeding stuff. where I have to be honest I didn't think he would do yeah because they were saying that he didn't want to go to America to start mm -hmm. with and then they're saying like, Vince didn't like him so maybe he wouldn't last very long but now Triple H in charge everything's, everything's good everything's right with the world yeah it is Um, but yeah I mean we've done it in a messy way but <laughs> we've covered WWE stuff yeah there's a lot going on at the minute I mean, obviously in the build up to Extreme Rules next weekend then obviously after that we'll get a better picture of uh, what WrestleMania is probably going to look like, yeah. starting with the Raw after Elimination Chamber. So yeah, it's uh, I, I promise next week I'll have something a bit more positive to say about <laughs> AEW, other than <laughs> the wrestling is really good. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah, AEW always falls 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 through the cracks for me. Like I watch well, I watch SmackDown, I'll check out NXT like the highlights. Then AEW is like, oh yeah, I'll watch AEW later. And I'll just never get around to it. Yeah. But I want to watch it. But it's not because it's bad. It's just because we don't have time. <laughs> yeah. I catch everything on the internet these days. I literally sort of, um, yeah, I pick high. And if I'm if I'm working at home, I will have Dynamite on in the background uh, when, I, when I'm when i not ridiculously busy. But, <laughs> um, d you know, the wrestling on Dynamite is never bad. That's the one thing that you can say for AEW is the wrestling is never, ever bad. And it's always very, very good. Yeah. Um, MGF first. I just need, I need I need something to absorb me. Yeah, we need we need the storyline because right now there aren't really. <laughs> that's it seems to be AEW's right, biggest it, problem. It's not the stories are there, but they're never great. They're never like the highlight. It's always a bit yeah. of wrestling first, which is fine. Wrestling's you know it's a wrestling show after all. Uh, but I need something to like keep me engaged. Yeah, good wrestling is not enough, and I know that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you're running a big time entertainment show. Yeah. And that's what it, wrestling is entertainment. Yeah. So people mock the, the phrase sports entertainment, but when you think about it, that's exactly what it is. And that's what we, 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 the wrestling is there. The characters are there in AEW. But, you know, I feel like we are running back the same storylines all the time, or that, you know, just with different people. Yeah. But, you know, uh, I do like AEW, and I say it every week. And I, I know it feels, you know, I know that. You know, we get, oh, you know, you're just WWE fanboys or whatever, and that's fine. We, we're, we're WWE guys. We're, we've, we're shameless with that. We've yeah. never strayed away from saying that because it's true. We are. Pretty but, much. That's what we grew up with. You know, it? yeah, I, I'm <laughs> waiting for AEW to really grab me again. I go through phases with it, and yeah. I'll go through a phase with it again. But next week, I promise I'll come on this podcast, and I'll have something a bit more positive to say about it because I'll go out of my way to watch it. Yeah, same here. That's our homework for this week. That's our homework. What's also, speaking of AEW, it got its T for Teen rating. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. It got its T for Teen. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. One, uh, let's have a look at the list because I think uh, Chris posted a list of um, like the things. Yeah. <laughs> Where was it? <laughs> Partial butt cheek. Was that it? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the one. Um, no, that was the WWE one. Where was it? Oh, no. I've lost it. Um... Was it in a different chat, maybe? 
Uh, let me have a look, see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. Wrestling. Is it in game chat? No, it might be. We have nice. a Discord, by the way. So, yeah, it is. Here we go. I got it. Oh, no, that's WWE. Oh, yeah, that's one I You got that's it? That's one I saw. Um, oh, here we go. Found it. It was in graphs. This makes sense. Uh, yeah, we have a Discord. Go and join that. There's a link in the description somewhere. Yes, go find it. It's awesome. Good time. Um, so, you got, uh, uh, uh Oh, God, I've lost it again. Oh, here we Barbed go. wire matches are in. Oh, yeah. Uh, got Stadium Stampede is in. Yep, yep. Good. Can use Molotov cocktails as a weapon. <laughs> Does you that know? Life, yeah. What? <laughs> uh, blood splatter effects. The word shit is said in the game. <laughs> How dare they? Uh, <laughs> pun players the use punches, kicks, grappling maneuvers. Slapping buttocks. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Slapping buttocks. So deep cleavage, bunny outfits, partially exposed buttocks. That's the one wrestlers the performing taunts, gestures, crotch chop, slapping buttocks. <laughs> Real footage sometimes depicts wrestlers drinking alcohol and smoking. The word shit is heard in the game. <laughs> that good question, wrestling game. <laughs> uh, I like, to be honest, my favourite thing is deep cleavage, bunny outfits, partially exposed buttocks. <laughs> yeah, that's my favourite one. Partially exposed buttocks. <laughs> it's like, hell that's yeah. what this week's podcast should be called. <laughs> partially exposed, but exposed buttocks, yeah. Good yeah. idea. They'll get loads of views anyway, so it should <laughs> <Yeah>. be called that. <laughs> partially exposed buttocks, that's awesome. <laughs> but hopefully now that means we can get a release date because the game is clearly done. Yeah. Give it to us now. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Let WWE 2K release first, for Christ's sake. Let that release first. Let AEW sort of come out a couple of months after that. Yeah, don't release them at the same time. That'd be stupid. No, that'd be so stupid. Yeah. And also suicide for the AEW game. Yeah. So, yeah, it's coming soon. It's definitely coming soon now. Yeah. Now we've got the rating. It's on its way. <laughs> Let 2K release, which is in just over four weeks now. Nice. And then... Release it in, I don't know, in April or something like that. Release it in April. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it was a solid month yeah. for um, WWE uh, 2K to game to the crowd to calm down. It's like, okay, now it's a new yeah. wrestling game. Yeah, then I can play it on Switch. Yes. Yeah. So excited. <laughs> cool. That's what I'm here for. But yeah, a um, bit of a, a mixed bag of podcasts this week. We've, <laughs> uh, we've, we've ranted, we've... We've done. We've we've talked about everything but the stuff that we were going to talk about. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's a good time. But that's why I love doing this podcast because I have no idea what we've just said for the last hour and thirty-two minutes. No, it's only about buttocks. Partially exposed buttocks. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that. That was like part of the thing of getting a rating for the game. Partially yeah. exposed buttocks, exposed <laughs> cleavage, or whatever it was. Partial cleavage. <laughs> Partial yeah. cleavage. You know, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Cool. This has been episode 169 nice. of the Games and Grats podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Games Grats. Go follow us on all the social media at Games and Grats. And from there, you'll find Finn and I's own personal social media. My name is Sunny G, and I've been here as always with Finn Steele. Thank you. And we will see you next week for a new episode of the Games of Grass podcast and the pre-show before the pre-show for Elimination Chamber. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Botox. <laughs> Cleavage. <laughs>